Hey folks, at the beginning of this year, we introduced the concept of standalone projects with NX. Now NX is usually a tool used for mono repos, but we found out that NX is actually good for just repos. It doesn't have to be a mono repo. So to support this, we introduced the ability to create a standalone application. The idea here is you'd have all the same tooling that you get from NX for mono repos, but it's for a repo that contains one single application, like a React app, for example. Let's go ahead and create our own standalone application so we can see exactly what's going on. All right, so I've got a new terminal open and to create a standalone application, I'm going to run the command npx create NX workspace at latest. I'm going to do dash dash pm equals pm pm here. Uh, this is just going to set our package manager to pm pm. After we hit enter here, we're going to get asked a series of questions. The first one is, where would you like to create your workspace? I'm gonna put this in standalone React example. And now it's going to ask us which stack we want to use. So I'm going to select React here. I'm going to select none for framework. And we're going to select standalone here because we want to make a standalone example. For bundler, let's use Vite. And for end-to-end -end test runner, let's select none for now. And we'll just choose the default CSS. And of course, we're going to opt into NX Cloud here. So once we've given all of our answers, NX is going to go out and download all of our dependencies and get everything set up so that we can get started with our new standalone application. So let's give this a second and we'll open VS Code and see what's going on. All right, so the script to create our NX workspace completed and we can see here we have a file structure that's pretty similar to what you might expect for a standard Vite application. If we wanna go ahead and run our application just to see how it's going, all we have to do is write NX serve. So normally we'd have to do NX and then the name of our task and then the name of our project. But because this is a standalone application, we've set the default project to our application. And so we don't actually need to provide a project name here. We can just do NX and then the task name. So this command created a new dev server with Vite and we can visit it by going to localhost 4200. And there it is, our beautiful React standalone example. Now the way this is working is we're just creating a project as we can see from this project.json file at the root of our workspace. And if we wanted to add some more projects like some React libraries to this workspace, we could still do this using NX generators. Here I'm going to use the NX console and we're going to generate a new React library. So we're just going to name this UI components and let's adjust some things. So that all looks good. Let's go ahead and hit generate. And as soon as it's done, we can see there's a new project here in our projects tab of the NX console. And if we look at our file structure, we can actually see this new UI component library lives at the root of our project inside of its directory called UI component. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new component here inside of the UI component library. We'll just call it hello.tsx. So here's my nice little tidy hello component. I'm gonna come into the index.tsx. We're gonna make sure that we export everything from this file. Cool, so once this is all set, I'm actually going to come into my app component. And here, right before we add our NX welcome component, I'm going to do our little hello component and we'll give it the name React Standalone. So in case you missed it, the VS Code was actually able to autocomplete this hello import for us. And we're importing it from our own library or our own module inside of our repo. So now when we come over to our application, we can actually see there's our little hello component standing up at the top. If we come back to VS Code now and we check out our project graph, we can see that even though our directory structure looks a little bit different from what we're used to, the depth graph is actually still working as expected. So even though our UI component library is technically nested inside of the file structure inside of the root of our standalone React example, the fact that this is a directory that has its own project.json file is signaling to NX that NX should treat this UI component directory as its own project. And that's what we're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a commit here because I wanted to show off one of the newer features we added to NX, which is the ability to convert this standalone project into a standard mono repo setup. And to do this is actually very easy. All we have to do is run the command nxg convert to mono repo. And a lot of stuff just happened here. So let's just take a look at what exactly went on. The first thing that changed was all of the files at the root that were specific to our application. So our standalone React example was hoisted up and now lives inside of app slash standalone React example. If we take a look inside it at the files, for example, our app.tsx file, we can see the contents of this file are functionally the same as before. We're still taking our NX welcome component and our hello component and putting them inside of our application. 
And the other project we had inside of the repo was our UI component library. And we can find this library now inside of our libs directory. So here you can see there's our hello component and we're still exporting it as we always have. And of course, if we want to serve the application, all we have to do is still just run NX serve. Our standalone React example is still our default project. So we still don't need a project name, but we could include the project name and have run NX serve standalone React example. That was just too much for me to type. So I just stuck to NX serve. And when we get the browser, it still looks and functions exactly the same as before. So that's the convert to mono repo generator in a nutshell. And this is a really great tool for your standalone applications that you may have used in the past that are now grown up and ready to become multi-application mono repos. Maybe you started with your front end application living by itself inside of this NX repo, but your organization has decided that it wants to co-locate the API alongside your front end application. This is a great case to use it. You can convert your standalone application to a mono repo, and now we can add more applications like a node application if we wanted to add an API to our workspace. So a really cool feature here in NX, be sure to check it out. And a huge thanks to the NX community who had been asking about this feature for a long time. We're listening to y'all. Here it is. Look forward to y'all getting your hands on it. Thanks for watching y'all. Keep working hard and we'll see y'all next time. Peace.